Hello all. So today I'm planning to create your case types in constellation. So I'm in the version of uh, 23.1 Pega Infinity. So I have created a couple of case types, but I don't see much difference between Pega constellation and the Pega uh, versions, the below versions, Pega 8, 7, or 6. Uh, sorry, Pega 7 and 8, 6, we don't have case type, right? So now I'll go here. So I'll create one new case type here. So this is kind of the escalation system. Escalation system I'm trying on. So just submit this. So if you want to update the uh, classes for the case type, you can expand this advanced settings and you can update it. For now, I'm not updating it. So once it is created, so I'm planning to have two, uh, three primary stage and one alternate stage as it is escalation. So we will be collecting information from users. So once we collect, if there is a solution we are able to provide, I will be providing, I mean, the first level of user will be providing the solution. If he is unable to provide the solution, he might reach out to his manager to get more help. So that is the stage we are calling as a alternate stage. So mostly the user will be the particular user like who's creating the uh, escalation will be able to provide the solution. In some cases, it might go to the next level. That is where we have a manager stage I mean the escalation stage, escalation one, escalation level one. So we might have like level two, level three, level four. But for now, I'm going to show you the basic one so this is something I'm gonna keep this as a initiate because sometimes we might need this I mean we might need to uh, call few things before calling our uh, case type so for we might have some DT data transformer activity to define that so that's the reason I'm not going to touch this initiate stage like a second stage I'm gonna keep us escalation form where we get all our escalation details and the third one is going to be resolved so as i mentioned already i'm gonna keep one alternate stage that is escalation level one so now our stages are ready i'll do save now i'm gonna define the status so we all know most of the things we can define in the case type itself. So let's try to do what all are the things we will be able to uh, apply or uh, do in case type itself. That is something I'm going to explain now. First thing is the start, the, the prefix of the cases. So that is something we will be able to define in case type itself. There is a settings tab under that you see the general. In the general, you will see the prefix. So I'm going to keep this as a ESC and do save. Here you see the urgency. If you have a SLA concept, you need to update the SLA. When the case is getting created, you can define this initial urgency. For now, I'm going to keep this as a 10. So for now, I'm defining this urgency as 10. So when I explain about this SLA, I'll come to the top urgency. So now when the case starts here, I'm going to define the status as new. It should be new here. When it moves to this escalation form, I'm going to keep this as a pending. So once the form is uh, created, so it will be in the status of pending. When it is moved to resolve, I'm going to keep the status as resolve completed. When it is going to escalation, I'm going to keep the status as pending investigation. So if you don't see the status which you are expecting for, you can create new one using this and you can update over here. So now the status update is done. The next one I'm going to do here is SLA. You see 
three tabs here right one is something uh, this is something you already know whenever uh, once this first stage is completed it will automatically move to next stage so that during the time we define this automatically move to next stage wait for user action resolve the case so this is something uh, we define here so I'm gonna keep here as auto kit wait for user action so once users fill uh, the form then based on the information we are going to move the stage to next stage and this one resolved one it's going to be resolved I keep like this so that when this comes this form comes to the stage the case will get resolved completed automatically so here we are talking about the second time so we can skip the stage based on this condition so now for now we have the skip st stages never if we want to skip the stage for a particular condition for example if I have like one more stage called approval manager approval so based on sub condition I can skip the stage so it's not like always it will go to manager approval or uh, to get the more information for manager only few scenarios we will reach out to manager during the time you can have a condition based on what condition you are planning to skip the stage for now I'm gonna keep this as never that is something we can achieve here and even during the entry of the stage you can set the validation here the next one is goal and deadline so here you can uh, this is never something like we are not defining SLA we all know about the SLA SLA is something like we are assigning one bug to particular user and we are keeping the time for him to complete the task for example when the work is assigned to him you should you should be able to take the action on that work item within two hours for example I'm uh, escalating something and the first like once I escalate it will assign to one particular user to resolve that uh, escalation so the timing will be given like two hours or three hours within two hours or three hours he should be able to resolve that request if it is not resolved we may can uh, send notification or email to the manager of that particular person so that when the goal this is what we define as goal goal is something that particular user should be able to uh, resolve that item within a goal time if he is resolving within a goal time it's good to go if it is not we will be sending we can send notification or email to that particular user or to his manager that is something we define using the goal and deadline so for example if i define the custom sla you see if i give goal as a one day then within this one day you should you should resolve this case if he is not resolving then we can increase the urgency urgency is the one based on that the case will be pulled to the particular user for example if i if this one user is logging user a is logging in and that user is having 10 item so out of 10 item one item is having urgency as 90 the maximum urgency we can uh, calculate is 100 if that user is having urgency as 90 then that case will be pulled in the top that is where we use this urgency and here you see the notify creator and participant creator is nothing but who created the case so when the goal is reaching is not resolved the item then we can notify the creator when the deadline is reaching means goal has crossed but he didn't complete that item then it will go to deadline so in the deadline usually what we will do is like we will notify the creator as well as the participant or the manager who involved in this case creation process so usually what we will do whoever creating the cases we will notify him as well as who to whom that user is law reporting to to that manager also we will notify so here we kept the deadline as two days and we are increasing the urgency as 30 something like this so that this will be this this notification will trigger after two days and the urgency will get updated as 30 this is where we define the SLA so SLA is something we will be able to define in the case type itself this is one thing that we will be able to define in case type and the next one is 
so we talked about golden deadline and let's go to escalation level so we are not defining anything here now let me go and do the save okay so it is telling there is no participant added right now so we we should not be sending we need to define the participant for this i'll tell you in where we can define the participants so now this case is case type is ready so this is something the first flow we are planning to keep any uh, pre dt or pre activity so i'm not going to update anything here here i'm going to define the collect information this is kind of your the collecting information form it's a single step form that's the reason i have selected this this is going to be a uh, escalation form and then resolve and here also i'm going to keep the same escalation form because this user will verify that information and then he will provide any uh, additional information if this user is looking for let me do the save now yeah now save and run So now the case has been created we see it is starting with esc iphone 1 and the urgency is 10 this is the properties we are seeing over here all are ootb and we see the initiate has been already done so we are in the escalation stage now so once we provide the so we didn't define the view yet that's the reason we are not seeing anything over here so let me advance this case so it will move to resolved yeah now the case status we see it's getting updated as resolved completed and the urgency is 10 created by is admin updated by is admin we see the case details and the pulse information here pulse is something we will be using for the communication okay this is how we create a case type in constellation we'll see you on the next uh, topic on the constellation do subscribe for more videos